Hello. Hey guys, good evening. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming. Um, first of all, I would like to ask you, honestly, who doesn't have any idea what this talk is about? Raise your hand. OK, OK, that's good to know. So uh, you don't know what to expect, so anything I present here will be above your uh, expectations, right? Uh, thanks for coming to my presentation. Thanks for coming to Unite. Uh, I'm really happy you are all here. Uh, I think this is the, the, the best event ever uh, because I, 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 I got the chance to meet so many cool developers working on so many cool ideas uh, with different uh, Background, so I really like it. Uh, my name is Arturo Nunez. I'm field engineer and evangelist for Mexico. Uh, so in case anyone wants this talk to be in Spanish, please let me know. We can switch also. Otherwise, we'll stick uh, in English. I've been working on Unity for about one year. The first task I had at Unity was attending a Unite. So I said, oh, this is going to be great. And it's been great all the way down. Um, that's my Twitter. That's my email. In case you need anything, anytime, please feel free to write me. Uh, I don't handle the United States or, or, or many other countries, but I'll be happy to, to help you, right? So make your game feel juicy with, uh, juicy with Unity. It's the, 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 the title of my presentation. And I'm going to explain to you a bit what this is all about. Oh, sorry. Um, OK. So. Many times when we use Unity, or basically any, any other tool, uh, people start saying, oh, you know, I know this is a Unity game. This is a Unity game. Why is that? Because sometimes we don't add like, extra features or extra polish things to our game. So it, you can actually recognize a game is using, with, with, is using Unity, right? So what we're going to talk about today is how to add these small polishing tweaks to your games that won't take that many time away from you, but will make your game feel and, 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 uh, and behave better than without them. OK, so I'm going to, uh, this goes here, sorry. So the goal of the talk is, when you're creating your games, you, uh, you think about this. Because nothing here is written in, in books, or, or I can say, oh, I'm an expert on this. I think there's no expert here. But the idea is to, to, for you to start thinking about these concepts when you uh, start making or designing your game. And I'm going to start with my own definitions of all these stuff. Uh, one is Game Feel. There's a book uh, called Game Feel. Have you ever read that book? OK, some of you guys. Cool. Um, my description of game feel is how the player feels after they have played some input via controller, via mouse, via keyboard, via the touch screen. Uh, then how you feel after the game gives you some feedback. What's this feedback? Well, the audio or the visuals mostly, probably some rumbling effect. That's, that's a game feel. For some games, it's different than the others. Like if you're playing a, a first person shooter and you shoot and you don't hear anything or you don't feel the, the controller rumbling, probably doesn't feel right. And that's, that's, that's what I'm referring to when I'm talking about a game feel. And now juiciness. What's this? think of juicing as well. Uh, in some games, you hear some squishy noises. You see some, some, some things like exploding, uh, bouncing all the, the, the walls. That's, that's like the juiciness, right? So these are the two concepts I'm, I'm managing. My talk is based on two other talks I, I, I'm super, uh, I love a lot. One is called The Art of the Screen Shake by the guys from Lambir. The other one is called Use It, Use it or Lose It from uh, Petri Purjo from uh, Crayon Physics. So let's start, right? Um, it's going to be a live demo. Unity never crashes, but if it crashes, but, for any reason, please st stick with me, right? So what we have here, we have a super simple Space Invaders clone, right? Um, anyone has played Space Invaders or at least know it? No? OK, cool. So we know Space Invaders, it's, it's fun, right? Because it's been around for so many years. Now, so, so we know the basic mechanic works, and we're not going to talk about uh, the actual gameplay or how to tweak the gameplay. We know for sure that, that the, this game is it's, it's fun to play. What we're going to do is going to add small tweaks to make it feel better, right? Uh, of course, everything using Unity, and I'm going to bring here my first slider, 
And what I'm going to do here is instead of having uh, my enemy is just pawning right there. What I'm doing is adding this small transition, this uh, quick twin effect, so they kind of like bounce when they start, right? So it starts to, uh, now it feels better. And basically what I'm doing here is just uh, telling Unity to interpolate from one position to another uh, given a certain time using an easing function. And to explain to you what's this easing thing, I, I will give you all the links and all that stuff by the end of the, of the presentation. Uh, these functions tell uh, the software how they should interpolate between the values. So in this case, using this is out x function, my ball moves from here to here, giving that animation. Uh, we have different ones. And what Unity is doing is actually twinning those values, right? We only give the Unity uh, some parameters, and Unity it's doing the rest. Oh, okay. So we have some kind of uh, animation. Now I'm adding another thing, and this is some kind of noise to the spawning times. And now my space invaders are not falling all at the same time. Uh, there's a different easing function for each one of them. So it feels more alive than before, right? Because if you remember, we had something that started like this, and then they started moving. Now it's feeling way more alive here. Uh, now, when I shoot, and this is also a cool thing, uh, it feels like I'm playing an arcade game, and I'm just controlling the arcade stick and all that, right? It doesn't feel like I'm part of the game. Uh, how can, can, could we improve this? Well, we could uh, change the perspective of the game, so I could be using, uh, I don't know, a first-person perspective. But right now, what I'm going to do is add something, something really simple. Uh, and I'm going to add some screen shake. So every time I shoot, oh, sorry. Uh, I get this, this, feeling, uh, this effect, right? So it feels better. Now it feels like I'm actually inside the game. Uh, of course, you need some imagination, but it feels better, right? Uh, I can make this super exaggerated. Uh, sometimes it feels better, sometimes it's, it feels uh, worse. Like, this doesn't work uh, at every game. You need to balance how this feels, but this is like something cool, right? So now I'm going to activate some cool thing in Unity, which is the particles. I'm going to just add some particles here. And some people tell me that they don't like Unity particles because of many reasons, but the thing is, particles are, are, are good, uh, are easy to use. Uh, and in this case, they, they work, right? So it gives a, a sense of motion also to my, to my ship. Uh, and then I'm going to add something new. Uh, let me hide this. So remember, when I'm here, with this deactivated, when I shoot, oh, sorry. When I shoot, I didn't have anything here, but now I've activated, I don't know um, why it's not working as expected. But now I've added this fire burst effect. So every time I shoot, uh, a small uh, texture, sprite, just appears there and disappears. It's super simple, but now it feels like I'm shooting something. You know, when you shoot a gun, I, I've never shot a gun and I've never been shot at. So I've only watched a lot of YouTube videos about this. But when you shoot something, there's actually a, an explosion, right? So we're simulating this thing just by putting a sprite, a white sprite with a shape of a star, and then making it disappear. So it looks like I'm, I'm actually shooting. So another thing I'm going to add is this. I don't know if you can tell what, what changed, but what changed is the actual scale of my ship. So every time I move, and depending on, on the speed I'm moving in at, um, my ship is getting scaled. So it doesn't feel as stiff as, 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 uh, as it was feeling before. It's scaling a bit. Uh, probably you can sense it. Maybe not. Maybe it's too small change. Um, 
let's go with the next one. What I'm doing here is just calculating the speed of my ship, not using physics, just using a basic formula telling, okay, the ship was here at a given moment, then it's the ship, uh, then it's another position, uh, how, many t how much time happened, and I'm just making a, a small scale factor to do that. Okay, so next. Oh. We start this. I'm going to add more particles because more particles means more fun. So I'm going to add particles to the explosion. And now it feels better. And remember, it's the same game. I haven't changed any mechanic on the actual uh, gameplay or anything. Everything is just particles here. OK, let me bring my menu again. Um, now I'm going to activate the SFX. Oh, can we have audio? Oh, sorry, there's actually an error there. I didn't see that. I don't know what happened. Okay, so where we where we move and scale these three particles, SFX. Do we have sound for the computer? Uh, is anyone <laughs> back there? <laughs> okay, just give me a second. Or system preferences or something? Okay, it's probably going through the Okay, back to the phone. So, it's even better. Let me reactivate the uh, SFX. Oh, sorry. So, you see how the game is feeling better now? And I haven't added anything. Uh, most of the time, we as developers, I'm a programmer, so I tend to think about sound at the last minute, right? So I go to Google and just download any sound. And most of the time, it doesn't work as I would like to. But yeah, st we, uh, ten we tend to do that. So let's try not to do that. Uh, now, another thing, every time I'm sh I shoot here, uh, you can see that the bullet goes to the same direction, right? It's always going through a, on a straight line. What I'm going to do is, if I'm shooting too fast, I want to have like a little random noise so it looks like I'm, I'm actually holding or shooting at something. And I, because I'm, I'm shooting too fast, I'm losing the precision. So I'm going to activate this thing. Oh, sorry, something crashed there. It's my fault, it's not uni fault, so. <laughs> Uh, I think we were here. Okay. So if you can see, the bullet doesn't go in a straight line uh, right now. So it's a little uh, noise over here. Okay. Right now, this step, I have, I have actually changed something in gameplay, right? Because if you remember on the original Space Invader, you tried not, not to shoot at the ship's right when they were up to, uh, above you, but right before they were going there. So we have changed gameplay here. So most of the time, you don't want this to happen. You only want to, uh, want to polish your game. You don't want to, to change the gameplay, but we have changed now. So then I'm going to... Um, make the enemies move differently. I don't know if you see something different with the actual movement, but at first the enemies were moving just using a transform.translate. Right now what I'm doing is also using an easing function to move them. They are all moving uh, at the same speed with the same uh, function but it feels a bit more uh, smooth, the movement with them. So another cool thing, I don't know if many of you use that, it's uh, the trail renderer component in Unity. Uh, I'm going to add a trail renderer to my game. Let me restart this. 
And you can see how it, it looks better, right? I've just added this component, which is um, on the add component menu. And it looks like it has this trail, this cool trail, kind of like a throne thing. Um, next, I'm going to make the enemies to persist. Right now, what I'm doing when I hit an enemy, I just destroy the, the object. Uh, probably you would like to pull the, the enemies or something. Right now, I'm just calling game object destroy. Uh, but right now, I don't want them to just disappear there. So what I'm doing is adding a random force to make them go all the way on the screen. This makes the feel of, of persistence, right? Uh, it makes them feel that they are not just exploding and disappearing magically, but they are also uh, bouncing somewhere else, okay? So I'm going to add another cool thing that you can find on Unity on the standard assets folder if you import them, which is an image effect. Right now I'm using uh, Bloom and First image effect. Uh, it comes for free. You can use it for your commercial projects. Um, now it, it's going to feel, it's, it's feeling better, right? Uh, all the effects. I haven't changed anything for my gameplay except for, for the bullet direction, but it's, it's starting to feel uh, better. Uh, now I'm going to start adding some music. By the way, if you're attending the party tonight, I'm going to be the DJ and I'm going to be playing this. Okay? All this uh, music is being generated uh, using the audio mixer. The project is also in the, uh, at the Unity source uh, code at GitHub. I'm going to use the last. There are no losing or winning condition. Uh, it's just, for example, and, and the idea was to go from something like this, which is kind of sad, but it's fun to play, to something. Okay, so once again, the idea, thank you. The, the idea is not to tell you, okay, you should go and replicate this on every game you, you make. The idea is so every time you're making a game, you think about these small things that makes all the difference in any game. You cannot apply the same thing for all the, all the type of, of games. Imagine a World War II game where you have all this music and bloom effects and all that stuff. That probably won't work. Uh, these are some references. The audio project and all the audio assets are on the bit bucket of Unity. The project is open source and you can do whatever you want to do with that, is what I did. Uh, please go and watch these two lectures, use, your, use it or lose it, The Art of the Screen Shake. Go read the book, the Game Field book by Steve Swink. And I use iTwin, which is a super small script on the asset store for free. Uh, it's on itwin.pixelplacement.com. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. I'm not expert on this, so I will do my best. Any question, guys? Oh, let me remind you, if you're going to the party, please bring your ID and your badge. If you're not from the States, you need your passport, no matter why. Yeah, passport. That's the only valid ID. Yep. This question really isn't that life-changing, but it sounds like those sound effects were made in BFXR. Is that accurate? Uh, I think so. They're from the, uh, from the asset store. From what? The asset store. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, those are from the asset store. I bought them, so yeah, those. Thanks. Any other question? No? Okay, just let me... Oh, yeah, yeah, go, go ahead, sorry.
I guess based on your experience, do you find yourself adding those types of things once the gameplay is all complete? Or, I mean, that's what you, you showed in your example here, but I mean, do you find yourself adding these types of attributes towards the game as it drives the kind of feel of the game? Or is this more of a, a polished step that you add at the very end? Uh, basically, it's, uh, it's like half and half. Like all the particles and all those stuff, I think uh, you need to add them once you have something that it's uh, fun to play. Not before, because otherwise you will be spending time on something that is probably not fun and will go away. But regarding, uh, I don't know, something like when you shoot the, the, the bullet at random position, that's something that you need to do while you are making the game because it changes the, the gameplay. But otherwise, I think most of the stuff, uh, you can add them later on, on development. Thank you. So before we leave, let's start the party right now. <laughs> oh, by the way, thank you to Rodrigo and Luis uh, for the help with the sound scripts and the art. And thank you very much for coming. Have fun. See you at the party. Thank you, guys. Thank you.